Hello viewers, this is Charles, welcome to QuickBoost 2016, we are getting started now in module 1, module 2, and this module is called getting started, because this is where we are going to go through and set up all the information related to our company file this is the first video and i'm going to talk to you in this video about setting up the company file and why it's so important that you do so correctly from the very beginning first of all Every file in QuickBooks is called a company. You can have as many company files as you like. You might want to keep your personal information in one company file and maybe your business information in another company file. In other words, you are able to have these companies files as many as you can it could be that you have lost maybe you have lots of clients and you want each of your client to have a separate company file all company files are separate they don't share information they are separate when you first load quickbooks you are going through you are going to go through a process of setting up the company file so i can close what we have because this was a company file that I've been showing on the screen, but I can close this and we try to look at, because I've been in this, I can try to sign out, close off this company file so that we can have something. I've, I'm just logging out. So when you, First, open QuickBooks. That's the first screen that you are going to see. So, that's it. This is the company that I've been in my company. I've been put, uh, I've, that's what I've been using. This one is also there. They are on the two. This section here shows up to five company files that you've been using. The most recent five company files, they will be reflecting that column. So, how do we go how are we going to be setting up the the company file what that happens what that means is that you will tell quickbooks that you want to create a company file and it will automatically launch it will automatically launch you into what is called the easy step interview so you say i want to create a new remember i had this my business and i have this that has skj but i want to tell quickbooks that i want a new company file so i will go to create a new company file i'm not opening or restore an existing because this one means i'm going to open any of these these two 
This one you can open a sample. A sample file. But me, I want to create a new company file. And when you do that, it is going to launch what we've, what we've termed as the easy step interview. This is where it starts. That's the process we go through to create a company file in QuickBooks. In that interview, or in that interview that we are going to we are going to go through, it's going to ask you all kinds of questions. And based on how you answer those questions, it's going to turn icons on and off on the screen for, for you. That you can go back and change later if you want to. The screen, the home screen we are talking about here, it has been having those icons. Like we've seen the home screen when I when in the previous videos I've been showing that home screen. Those features you see there, they just they don't just come automatically. It's through these steps that we are going to go through that we get to know all those icons you've seen on that flow chart. So depending on how you've answered the questions that QuickBooks is going to ask you, it will determine which icons are going to appear on that home screen. And the good thing is, after creating the company, you can go back. If maybe some features are not are not showing, you can go back and change, and they they come. But the big thing about going through the setting setting up of the company file is that it's good. It's going to create a charts of account. We shall look at that chart, chart of account. But when you go through these steps, these questions it is asking, QuickBooks is asking, they are going to help you create the relevant charts of accounts. In other words, it will open those ledgers for us. And how it is going to open those ledgers, it is going to base on the information that we are going to put in when we are going through that is a step interview. It's called an interview because QuickBooks will be asking you questions and you keep answering. The way how you answer those questions is going to help us generate charts of accounts that we are going to use when you go to transactions. We can be able to modify them. We can also be able to, to see what is going to be left like that, basing on how we've answered the, the questions. So it is very important to go through that, that those questions and we go, we answer them appropriately so that we can be able to get the right charts of account. That's why it is very important and it is much easier to get things set up correctly from the beginning. Because if you mess up, they ask this and you answer the other way around, you will end up having different things. And when you have different things at the end, you are just wasting time because you will go back and rechange those things. So it's better we answer these questions when we have analyzed the business. So it will be very worth it for us to spend more time analyzing these questions 
or answering these questions so that we can save time when we go to dealing with other transactions. Because when you go through that, it is going to do everything or to make everything ready to go. Because some, some items, if not set from the beginning, they may be hard for us to, to change. They may not be easy for us to change. So that's one of the things that we are going to focus on, the easy step interview. And we've said it is very important for us to set up our company file correctly from the very beginning. Because it will be very painful for us to start working on other transactions and we start realizing that things, they are not quite the way they should, they should be. Well, having heard that, let's go ahead and we are going to start setting up our company file over in the second but this we are going to do it in the second video we said we are going to make these videos a bit smaller so that we can be able to pick all the basics from the very start so we are going to look at how we start we start creating the company file using that process that we've called the easy step interview. So let's get over to the next video. And that's going to be our part one of easy step interview. This has been a, just an introduction of the company file. At least you've got to know what a company file is, what are the things that we go through for us to be able to create the company file and what we should do so that to get everything set up or to get the right charts of accounts. We'll see you there.